What's going on YouTube? It's Ray. It was a big mail day for me. I got some cards that I'm going to send out TTM. Uh, over the past week I've gotten some cards I'm adding to my PC. And I got two TTM returns, so I wanted to share that with uh, whoever watches my videos. I mean, I know it's not a ton, but whoever watches, wanted to share. First card, I was actually at first going to send it um, TTM because I had looked on sports cards forums and saw this guy was good about signing TTM. I saw the 100%, but when I got the card, I double checked. And it turns out he hasn't signed a TTM, uh, reported it on SCF at least, uh, since 2011. So, I don't know, I don't really want to waste the stamps and envelope if he's not, he hasn't signed in three years. Well, it'll be three years, uh, come this football season. But I like Ohio State, I'm an Ohio State fan, so it's a nice card just to have to my PC. A rookie, James Laurinaitis, really good linebacker at Ohio State. Has done pretty well, I think, with St. Louis. Next card is a uh, dual jersey auto. I realized in my last video that I was actually using that term incorrectly. Um, talking about just jersey auto cards, I just thought dual since uh, jersey auto, two things, two unique things. This one is a real uh, dual jersey auto from Reds outfielder Chris Heisey, numbered 246 out of 250. He's mainly a bench player, come off the bench when they need him. Uh, has a pinch hit a lot for the Reds. But I think he's pretty underrated, got some pop, has pretty good speed. And I think he has probably the coolest signature I have out of uh, all the autographs I have. Very clean. Uh, next card, just an auto, another red. Numbered 091 out of 399. Um, he's developed really nicely, I think. And he'll be swinging in the home run derby in a little over an hour at Target Field in Minnesota. Third baseman Todd Frazier. Really happy about this one, uh, especially since he's a nice guy. I've um, met him on the foul lines before Reds games before, and he's a really friendly guy. I will uh, stop and talk to any fans, take a picture, sign an autograph. Really nice guy, and that's who I want to succeed. So happy about that one. I think he'll... Uh, have a great second half too, especially uh, with Phillips and Votto out. He's pretty much going to have to lead the offense, and he's done that so far. On to the TTMs. Um, technically, these are both failures, but there are uh, positives out of each of them that I wanted to um, share. They're not total failures because they they're both both have some positives. First one. Uh, return to sender. A lot of people online have been getting this uh, return to sender recently. I guess we just missed the cutoff of when ESPN stopped forwarding mail to him. Mr. Jerry Rice I got it back in two weeks. Well, uh, it'll be two weeks tomorrow. 14 days. I don't know. Maybe I did the. I don't know. 14 days. Um. But at least I got the self-addressed stamped envelope back, the SACE, and I got my card back, which is right here. So I'll hold on to it for now. I'll hold on to the letter of request that I wrote. And if I uh, find out that he's signing in the future, I'll probably mail that out to him, um, maybe with some other cards. I'm not sure. Next one, not a return to sender, but... Um, I was surprised to get it back because the card was in a plastic uh, protector and normally you need more than just one standard stamp to get that through the post office because um, they say those can't bend uh, which stuff needs to bend to go through their sorting machines so that requires extra postage but it made it back to me anyway I was kind of surprised about that, that. I um, sent to this guy you're coming from Michigan I sent to him in Michigan because I had seen a lot of people were having success, but when I sent it, I didn't know that he required a um, $10 fee. But, I mean, I have to give the guy some credit. He obviously checks his mail often because five days uh, from Cincinnati to Michigan and then back is pretty impressive, I think. So if you're willing to pay the $10, um, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, I don't know. I'm... 
not sure if I want to send back because I mean I don't know. I know he's a Hall of Famer, but I don't know if I want to say it's Mr. Al Kaline, by the way. I don't know. I bought this card cheap because uh, I wanted to send it TTM, but I didn't know it would be an extra ten dollars. I mean, it'll probably just go into my PC because I don't know. I don't know if I really want to send to him again for ten dollars. But at least I got the card back. Surprised it came back to me. And that's pretty much all I have for now. Um, like I said with the Al Kaline card, I'm surprised it came back because it only had one standard stamp. And I don't think that's why a lot of cards aren't coming back to me. Uh, for example, like Chris Sabo, who lives near me, and uh, Dirk Nowitzki, who's been answering a lot of fan mail, and people who have sent to him after me have gotten stuff back. I think it's just because I didn't put enough postage on it with a uh, hard plastic case inside. So uh, since I'm new to it, we'll call it a rookie mistake. But I will definitely change the way I do things like that in the future. But um, I don't know. We'll see if I get any cards back, even with just the one stamp. Because I try to send the guys who are uh, supposedly good about signing TTMs. I don't really take many shots in the dark. But I don't know. We'll find out. I'm going on vacation on Friday, but I expect to get some um, TTMs in the mail uh, while I'm gone. Uh, 